James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is October 14th, 2022, 2.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Last night, we had a 6.4 magnitude earthquake over in the Papua New Guinea area. This is on a broken plate boundary that's trying to form. And this is one of the points of Zealandia, the continent that they've already named and claim is rising, which actually creates a triangle, uh, much like you see under the water here. So we have lots of plates that are moving around there. We have a lot of volcanic activity, which is going to help form the continent. And these plates are actually going to move around until they're connected and can release energy. With that said, we're having a huge swarm right now in Hawaii. Yes, that is correct. We've actually had 25 earthquakes in Hawaii. And uh, most of them have happened in the last hour or so. You can see that they're in red. I want to show you guys that we had a 5.0 pop off just now they're calling it 20 kilometers of depth uh, and below that there is a 4.6 it just keeps going folks a 4.0 a 3.6 a 2.9 so this is not a small event this is one of the volcanoes awakening remember that every dot you see on the sea floor is a volcano and that Hawaii is really at the end of a long volcanic chain it runs up here from the Russian Peninsula and the Aleutian Islands all the way down to Hawaii. Now, if we look at the Hawaiian island from newest to oldest, we can see that there's that big 5.0. And it looks like it had numerous, numerous aftershocks right there. A lot of activity right there for Hawaii for sure. Jumping over to volcanoes and earthquakes.com you can actually see we can actually see those plate boundaries right here that are not connecting you can see all the volcanoes in that area that are awakening everything in yellow is awakening which is substantial and a definite uptick when we actually add those quakes we see that the big boy came in and it's all over the board. The French gave it a 6-1 and it looks like uh, the USGS is the one that gave it a 6-4. Let's get some detailed information about that real quickly. All right, that was a strong magnitude 6.4 earthquake. We do have it confirmed, and it released about 3.8 atomic bombs worth of energy. So it was quite an event for sure. Moving over to the swarm we're seeing in Hawaii currently. The 5.0 will get some detailed information that came from the USGS. Go see what they have to say. Volcano Discovery calls it a moderate 5.0 earthquake 34 minutes ago. It was confirmed at a depth of 20 kilometers and it released 477 tons of TNT or the equivalent thereof. These are the ongoing aftershocks five minutes ago, nine minutes ago, 12 minutes ago, 13 minutes ago. You can see they're all very sizable. We're in the midst of the swarm currently. So it does look like we have some plate movement and volcanic activity over near Papua New Guinea, i.e. Zealandia, the continent rising. And we can see that swarm right in the middle of the Pacific there, being Hawaii. It is ongoing. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in bizarro world. God bless.